Hello everyone and welcome back to our channel. Have you ever wondered if stress can impact your chances of getting pregnant? This is something that's been debated on in the past, but more recent studies are showing that it actually can. The good news is that along with some stress reducing techniques, herbs can actually help. And today we're gonna to talk about five of them that can help you. I'm Dr. Nicole Largent, a naturopathic doctor and owner of Terrain Integrative Medicine and co-founder of Fertile Bloom. And for those of you who don't know, a naturopathic doctor just means I specialize in natural and alternative treatments. So on that note, let's jump right in. Everyday life can be stressful enough, but then you throw the holidays into the mix and people's stress levels can just go through the roof. A recent study actually found that over 88% of people are stressed out over the holidays. And this stress can come from anything from financial worries to out of town guests to trying to pick out that perfect present. But when you're trying to get pregnant or thinking about trying to get pregnant or dealing with infertility, the holidays can really bring some added stress. And this can come from probing questions from Aunt Carol like, hey, when are you two gonna pop out some kids? Or suggestive statements from your mother like, hurry up and make me a grandma. Or even your cousin Brenda trying to imply something by saying, oh, I see that you're avoiding alcohol this season. Wink, wink, nudge, nudge. And all of this is enough to make even the most Zen person feel a little bit stressed out. Techniques such as yoga, deep breathing, meditation, exercise, and even long bubble baths are a great way to help you de-stress, but sometimes you just need a little bit of extra help. Herbs can be a really great, gentle, and oftentimes delicious way to help manage your stress. So we're gonna jump right into those five herbs that can help you get through this holiday season with lower stress and without negatively impacting your fertility. Ashwagandha is considered an adaptogenic herb. So when we're stressed out, our adrenals, which are or two organs that sit on top of our kidneys, a professor of mine once referred to them as the kidneys party hats, um, they really kick into high gear and they start producing cortisol and other hormones. And chronic stress can actually lead to a, a few different states ranging from this hypervigilant, um, anxious and always in the fight or flight mode kind of situation, all the way to feeling very burned out, fatigued, and even depressed. So what adaptogen herbs do like ashwagandha is they help the adrenals deal with that stress a little bit better. So ultimately they help you manage your stress a little bit better. And the bonus with ashwagandha is that it's actually been studied in male infertility and shown to help um, sperm production and sperm motility. Astragalus is another adaptogenic herb. In addition to many other things, it also helps regulate your immune system, which is really good for allergies and autoimmune conditions. Um, and um, autoimmune conditions should definitely be well controlled if you are thinking about trying to get pregnant or currently trying to get pregnant. So this herb can be really helpful for that. Um, like ashwagandha, it's also been studied in male infertility and has helped with sperm production. And if that's not enough, it's also antiviral. So it really does so many wonderful things. Rhodiola is one of my all time favorite herbs. Like astragalus, it is also an adaptogen, but it does so many other things. It also helps regulate your immune system and can be really helpful in depression. So if you're the kind of person who gets stressed out and feels really fatigued and down and depressed, then rhodiola is definitely for you. And the bonus that you get with rhodiola is it's also an aphrodisiac, which as we all know, can be very beneficial on your fertility journey. Lavender is an herb that many people are familiar with, but I think a lot of people underestimate its power. So while rhodiola helps with depression, 
Lavender is a nerve vine, which means that it can really help ease anxiety. And my favorite thing about this herb is that it can be used in so many different ways. So you can drink it in a tea, you can use it um, for aromatherapy, the essential oil, either in a diffuser or just the oil in general, or you can even put it in your shower and have like a little steam aromatherapy session. Um, or you can get really creative with it and turn it into a syrup and put it over pancakes or ice cream and it's really delicious. Milky oats might be known better to some of you by Avena because of the brand Aveeno that puts it in their soaps and their lotions, although it's at a very low dose. So you might be better off actually just making your own products with it. But this is another herb that's really gonna help with stress and anxiety. Um, particularly the kind that leads to nervous exhaustion. So this herb can really help calm you down and even promote sleep. This has also been studied um, in male infertility because it has a lot of nutrients in it. It can be really helpful in sperm production. So that's another bonus. And a second bonus is that it's really great and calming for the skin. So if you have any kind of skin conditions that show up in the winter around the holiday seasons, um, like rashes or just dry skin in general, you can take a bath with milky oats and it can be really helpful for the skin. So along with some of the stress reducing techniques we talked about earlier, these herbs can be really helpful, especially around the holiday season. And especially if you're trying to get pregnant, you wanna keep those stress levels as low as you can. I think the last thing I wanna mention is don't forget to just be open and honest with your communication to people around the holiday season. If you feel like you need help, don't hesitate to ask. And if you're uncomfortable with the topic that's being talked about, don't feel bad about asking to change the subject or maybe you and your partner can sit down and come up with kind of a blanket answer to anybody that has a question about you trying to get pregnant or when you're going to get pregnant or what's going on with that um, that you can just use and then the conversation can be over. So with that, I hope this video was really helpful for you. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel. You can hit the bell to make sure you're notified when we upload any new videos. Um, we also have a blog that went up this week along with this video that's on our website. We're gonna link all of this down below in the comments. So you can go to our blog. Also, if you are trying to get pregnant or you're thinking about trying to get pregnant in the near future, don't forget to join our private Facebook group. Um, it's full of compassionate and supportive women who are going down the same journey as you are. And it's really great to have a forum where we can discuss things and have questions answered and be encouraged and inspired. So I'll also link that down below. And other than that, I hope you have a wonderful day and happy beginning of the holiday season.